something to understand about the sacred geometry, particularly the flower of life, is it forms everything within creation. It forms not only our physical reality, you have the platonic solids which form the physical constructs of the time-space reality. It also forms the DNA in our body. It also forms the atomic structure of our being. So something also to understand about this sacred geometry is it can be attuned to either pole. It holds a neutral template, so it can be used for great light and it can also be used for darkness. It can be used for creation and it can also be used for destruction. So depending on the intention and the consciousness you are projecting onto this powerful sacred geometry depends on the reality you are creating. So when we project the frequency, the consciousness of divine creation, we divinely create in this reality. If we are projecting the frequency and consciousness of death and destruction, that is the reality we create. And so this is particularly important to understand in relation to our DNA, in relation to the atomic structure of our being, and how it all connects to this sacred geometry. Now, the next phase of our human evolution is one of ascension. The human being is ascending into 5D. We are also expanding our life expectancy. Anybody who's truly walking the path of ascension will begin to look towards expanding their life expectancy up to about a thousand years or planting the seeds for those who come after to live for that long. This is the new earth consciousness. We are, as human beings, designed to live for a very long time. We have the capacity to live forever, in immortality even so. And through the geometry, we can awaken to this. Where understanding how our intention and the vibrational frequency of our consciousness that we're projecting onto this geometry affects not only the reality surrounding us, but also our physical bodies is so very important in walking this path. Now, if you're projecting life, the flower of life, the flower of creation onto this geometry, you're going to see that reflected throughout your reality. If you're projecting fear, if you're projecting death onto this geometry, that is the reality you're going to be creating within your being and also within the reality surrounding you. So if you're going around spreading that kind of information, you're going to be sharing that information with goodness knows who else, other star seeds who are then going to continue sharing that information in fear. And consequently, you're spreading that kind of frequency. So let's, 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 let's spread a frequency of eternal life. Let's spread a frequency of divine creation. This is the new earth frequency and planetary vibration.